now let's study what is factorial what what is a factorial first of all how do we define this factorial what is the definition of this factorial so this factorial okay and the symbol this is the symbol this is the symbol for factorial so for example this let me tell you the definition this is the definition of if you have let's assume if you have a number n which is a which is a non negative integer this is a non negative integer so this should be a non negative integer means this number n this should belong to whole numbers okay so this should belong to set of whole numbers now in this situation what is n factorial n factorial is basically n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial and 0 factorial is equal to 1 okay so this is the definition of n factorial n factorial means n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial and 0 factorial is equal to 1 this is the definition of a factorial let me tell you this is the this is the definition this is how this factorial is defined now so tell me what will be so you can notice so what will be 4 factorial that will be 4 multiplied by 3 factorial now what is 3 factorial what is 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 multiplied by 2 factorial what is 2 factorial that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 factorial and what is 1 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 0 factorial and 0 factorial we already know this is already 1 this is already 1 so the answer will be what this is already 1 so the answer will be 24 is it clear to everyone this is the definition of n factorial n factorial means where n is a non negative integer so n factorial means n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial so that is simply and 0 factorial is equal to 1 you can notice that 4 factorial is basically this 1 to 4 multiplication of 1 to 4 so tell me what will be 3 factorial 3 factorial will be multiplication of 3 to 1 multiplication of 3 to 1 means from 1 to 3 all the integers you are multiplying them this is your 3 factorial what is 2 factorial this is 2 to 1 what is 1 factorial that is 1 that is 1 and what is 0 factorial that is 1 and what is 5 factorial 5 factorial is 5 multiplied by 4 factorial and 4 factorial is 24 so this will be 1 to 0 tell me is this clear this is the definition of factorial if i ask you what is 10 factorial then that will be 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 and so on okay let me just write it 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 3 2 1 so what is n factorial where if n is a positive integer this is very important that n is a uh, non negative integer if n is non negative integer so if n is non negative integer then what is n that then what is n factorial n factorial will be n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 and so on and so on 3 2 1 so n factorial basically means from 1 to n you multiply all the integers so multiplication of integers from 1 to n multiplication of integers multiplication of integers from 1 to n this is the definition of n factorial okay and you should remember all these basic things like 0 factorial 1 factorial both are 1 0 factorial and 1 factorial these both are 1 and 2 factorial is 2 you should directly remember it like you you should not calculate it again and again 3 factorial is 6 4 factorial is 24 5 factorial is 120 6 factorial what that will be that will be 6 multiplied by 5 factorial because remember n plus 1 factorial that is equal to n plus 1 multiplied by n factorial so i can say that will be 720 so these things you should directly remember okay very simple this is the concept of factorial now right now let me just tell you this thing okay whenever you see this thing n factorial divided by n minus r factorial whenever you see this thing this we will in short we will write it npr 
what i am saying i am saying whenever you see this thing in short we will write it npr so basically this is the definition of npr npr means n factorial divide n factorial divided by n minus r factorial here n comma r both must be non negative integers both must be non negative integers they both must be non negative integers okay and r must be less than equal to n so this is the definition of npr similarly there is something called ncr after some time i will tell you what is this right now don't worry right now just take it for granted that npr that simply means n factorial divided by n minus r factorial n comma r they must be integers non negative integers r is less than equal to n so what is ncr that is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial this is the formula for ncr basically this is the definition of ncr this is not a formula this is not these are the definitions this is the definition of npr remember this is not a, like this is not a formula this is the definition of npr this is the definition of npr and this is the definition of ncr this is how they are defined so this is the definition is it clear is this clear npr means n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so tell me what is 4p2 can you find it 4p2 that will be 4 factorial divided by remember this is your n this is your r so 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial that will be 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 4 factorial means 24 2 factorial means 2 so finally it will be 12 and what is 4c2 4c2 that will be 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial because remember np ncr that is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial so here what you will get you will get 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial and that will be 24 divided by 4 that will be 6 so this is the idea okay so now let's see this uh, some little bit more so for example what is 4c0 what is that that is 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 0 factorial into 0 factorial you know 0 factorial is 1 so this will be 1 so 40 is 4c0 is 1 and what is 4p0 what is 4p0 that will be 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial that is also one so 4p0 is also one you can notice what is the relation between 4 ncr and npr if you notice ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial this thing is called npr this is your npr so i can say npr divided by r factorial this is the relation so remember npr that is equal to r factorial multiplied by ncr okay so this is the this is the relation between ncr and npr because this n factorial divided by n minus r factorial this is called npr this is your npr so this is the relation between these two one more thing okay one more thing this notation this ncr some people write it like this this is a very popular notation for ncr some people like write like this some people write like this some people write like this all are same okay or you write like this all are same there is no problem okay all of them are same but this this is important okay so ncr we write it like this this means ncr and npr there is not okay there is nothing fancy about it it is just some people write like this and uh, some people write like this okay so basically most of the time they are used so this is the notation you can just do some questions like so tell me what will be 10 c2 what will be 10 c2 what is going to be 10 c2 10 c2 means 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 2 factorial 10 minus 2 factorial means 8 factorial 2 factorial now you can notice just understand this see 10 factorial divided by 8, 8 factorial this 10 factorial you can write like this you can write as 10 into 9 into 8 factorial 
divided by 8 factorial into 2 factorial. So you can cancel them. This you can cancel with this. So finally, your answer will be 45. This is your 10 C2, 45. So remember, you don't have to calculate. Okay, you can just cancel out. For example, if I ask you what is 10 P2, that is nothing but, you know, 10 P2 is, that is 10 factorial 10 C2. Okay, sorry, that is 2 factorial 10 C2. So that is 2 multiplied by 45, that is your 90. So 10 P, 10 P2, that is nothing but 2 factorial multiplied by 10 C2, because we know, we know, NPR is equal to R factorial multiplied by NCR. Okay, so that will be 90. So like this, you don't have to calculate the whole thing. If I ask you, for example, 6 C2, then what that will be? That is very simple. You know that 6 into 5 into 4 factorial, that is your 6 factorial. And division by 4 factorial, 2 factorial, so this will cancel out. Okay, so I can say this and this, they will cancel out. So finally, you will get 15. Finally, you are going to get 15. Actually, you should remember this. See, these are very common, extremely common. So you should remember when this is two, when this NC2. So the, these things you should remember. For example, you can notice NC1. What is that? Tell me, what is NC1? NC1, that will be N factorial divided by N minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial. So that will be simply N. NC1. That is going to be simply n. So nc1 is always n. This is one important thing. Okay, this is one important thing that nc1 is always n. So what will, what will be np1? If you know this, if you know this, then what will be np1? That will be 1 factorial into nc1. And that also will be n. That also will be n. So remember np1, nc1, both are n. Now, you should also remember what is NC2. What is that? NC2, what that will be? Because these are very frequently used. So you should remember them. So NC1, NP1, both are N. NC2, that will be N factorial divided by N minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Now, this N factorial, you can write it. You can write it N, N minus 1, N minus 2 factorial. And on denominator you already have this so what you can do you can cancel them out this and this you can cancel so finally you will get n n minus 1 by 2 and this you should remember this you should remember okay so n n minus 1 by 2 so this n c 2 this is nothing but n n minus 1 by 2 okay so these are the important things so i am telling you the second thing you should remember is NC1 is N. The third thing you should remember is NP1 is N. Another thing uh, is NCN. What is that? NCN. That also will be one. You can check it out. You can check it out. And what will be NPN? That will be N factorial multiplied by NCN. So that will be N factorial because you know what is NPR. You know what is NPR? That is R factorial multiplied by NCR. So finally, I can say NPN. That is nothing but N factorial. So these things. And this is important because this is very frequently used. So for example, if I ask you 6C2, what that will be? 6C2. So that will be 6 into 5 divided by 2. So that will be 15. If I ask you what is 20C2, 20C2. So 20 into 19 divided by 2. So basically 190, okay, 20 C2, so that will be 190, right? So you can just directly find, these are important. Okay, so now what we have seen, we have seen what is NCR, NPR and factorial, these things we have seen. Now our topic that is permutation combination, the actual thing, why we are studying NPR, this NPR, NCR, why we studied, the actual thing will come here. 